welcome to another session with English Rose, the home of British English. Well, today I'd like to look at something called the causative. Now the causative is when someone else does something for you. Very nice. So with the causative, it might be something like, I had my hair cut yesterday. Subject, I had, we use the verb had or have or has in the present, or a perfect or a future form. I had, object, what, my hair cut yesterday. And cut, although it um, stays the same in all three forms of the verb, is actually in the past participle form or the third form of the verb. So we could also say something like, I will have my car fixed tomorrow. This means someone else will do it for you. Don't confuse it with, I had fixed my car. I had fixed my car. Notice we put fixed before the object means you did it. I had my car fixed, where the object goes before the past participle. This means that someone else did it. And we can also use the verb have or the verb get. So we could say, I got my car fixed. They both mean the same thing. They both mean someone else did it. But get is a little more informal. Have is more formal. We can also use the causative, which is a little bit, you can think of like a passive form, because we don't include the doer or the person who did the action. We can use it in a slightly different way. I will have the mechanic look at the car. Right, so we've got subject, I, will have the form of have, remember we use have as our causative verb, who, the mechanic. So now we're getting the person involved, the doer. I will have the mechanic look at the car. Notice the verb look is in the infinitive form now without two. Without two it's called the bare infinitive. I had the hairdresser cut my hair. Remember, if you're using a transitive verb like cut, you have to say what was cut. Well, again, we can use it with get, but the verb has to follow a slightly different form. I got the mechanic to look at my car. Here, again, we use the infinitive form of the verb, but it's the full infinitive. We need to use to. So again, I had the doctor take my temperature. I got the doctor to take my temperature. It means the same thing. The only slight difference is sometimes we use got when the person is unwilling. I will have to get my husband to look at my computer. It doesn't work very well. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed the causative session today. Very short session, but very, very important part of English. Do not get it mixed up with using the past participle for just perfect tenses, past or present perfect. It means someone else is doing it and take note of the structure. Please like, subscribe and ring my bell and I'll see you for the next session. Bye for now. Bye.